Melachim Aleph, chapter 14. At that time, Avia, the son of Yaruvam, became sick. And Yaruvam said to his wife, Please arise and disguise yourself, so that they do not know that you are the wife of Yaruvam. And go to Shiloh. See, Ahiah, the prophet, is there, who spoke to me of becoming sovereign over this people. And you shall take with you ten loaves, and cakes, and a jar of honey, and go to him. Let him declare to you what becomes of the child. And Yaruvam's wife did so, and rose up and went to Shiloh, and came to the house of Ahiah. But Ahiyahu was unable to see, for his eyes had set because of his age. And Yahweh had said to Ahiyahu, See, the wife of Yaruvam is coming to ask you a word about her son, for he is sick. Speak to her thus and thus, for it shall be, when she comes in, that she makes herself strange. And it came to be, when Ahiyahu heard the sound of her footsteps as she came through the door, he said, Come in, wife of Yaruvam. Why are you making yourself strange? And I have been sent to you with a hard word. Go, say to Yaruvam, Thus said Yahweh Elohim of Israel, Because I exalted you from among the people and made you ruler over my people Israel, and tore the rain away from the house of David and gave it to you, and you have not been as my servant David, who guarded my commands and who followed me with all his heart, to do only what was right in my eyes. But you have done more evil than all who were before you, for you have gone and made for yourself other mighty ones and moulded images to provoke me, and have cast me behind your back. Therefore, see, I am bringing evil to the house of Yaruvam, and shall cut off from Yaruvam every male in Israel, whether shut up or left at large, and sweep away the remnant of the house of Yaruvam, as one sweeps away dung until it is all gone. Those of Yaruvam who die in the city, the dogs do eat, and those who die in the field, the birds of the heavens do eat, for Yahweh has spoken it. And you, arise, go to your house, when your feet enter the city, the child shall die, and all Israel shall mourn for him and bury him, for he is the only one of Yaruvam who shall come to the burial site, because in him there is found a good report toward Yahweh Elohim of Israel in the house of Yaruvam. And Yahweh shall raise up for himself a sovereign over Israel, who cuts off the house of Yaruvam this day, and even now. And Yahweh shall strike Israel as a reed is shaken in the water, and shall pluck Israel from this good soil which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they made their Asherim provoking Yahweh. And he shall give Israel up, because of the sins of Yaruvam, who sinned and who made Israel sin. And the wife of Yaruvam rose up and went, and came to Titzah, when she came to the threshold of the house, the child died. And they buried him, and all Israel lamented for him, according to the word of Yahweh which he spoke through his servant Achiahu the prophet. And the rest of the acts of Yaruvam, how he fought and how he reigned, see, they are written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Israel. And the days that Yaruvam reigned was twenty-two years. So he slept with his fathers, and Nadav his son reigned in his place. Meanwhile Rechavam son of Shilomo reigned in Yehuda. Rechavam was forty-one years old when he became sovereign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which Yahweh had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, to put his name there. And his mother's name was Naamah, the Ammonites. And Yehuda did evil in the eyes of Yahweh, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins which they committed, more than all that their fathers had done. For they also built for themselves high places and pillars and asherim on every high hill and under every green tree. And there were also cult prostitutes in the land. They did according to all the abominations of the nations which Yahweh dispossessed before the children of Israel. And it came to be, in the fifth year of sovereign Rechavam, that Shishak, sovereign of Mitzrayim, came up against Jerusalem, and he took away the treasures of the house of Yahweh, and the treasures of the sovereign's house. He even took away all, and he took away all the shields of gold which Shalomo had made. And sovereign Rechavam made shields of bronze to replace them, and entrusted them into the hands of the chiefs of the guard, who guarded the entrance of the sovereign's house. And it came to be, whenever the sovereign went into the house of Yahweh, the guards would bring them, then take them back into the guard room. And the rest of the acts of Rechavam, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yehuda? And there was fighting between Rechavam and Yaruvam all the days. So Rechavam slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And the name of his mother was Naamah the Ammonites, and Aviam his son reigned in his place.